Well, hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Mission Zero. If this is your first time here, my name is Sean, and this is Vlogmas, episode 14. Now, I am going to be posting episode 14 and episode 13 in the same day, not because I didn't get episode 13 edited, but because I got overtaken while I was working on Flashback Friday last night. I was overtaken with uh, an idea for something I want to do that is... Uh, impossible. I'm going to make it be possible for tomorrow's Vlogmas. Today what I want to talk about is out of Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 where Jesus says, let your light shine and show your good works that your Father in heaven may be glorified. And Oh, there's so much goodness there. This is really important because he's talking about a lot more than just kind of going to church and reading the Bible and preaching. This is a deeper concept, but I have a conference call that I have to get on that's going to stomp over my lunch, so uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and had lunch and then finished out the rest of my day and it was super busy and now it's nighttime and so pardon the artificial light, I am really not good at lighting. Like that piece I can do okay, but the, this piece, not so much my skill. I'm still trying to learn that part of filmmaking. The thing that Jesus is talking about, like I said, is walking in your purpose. You know, there's a lot of people who I think read this, you know, be a light. Thing, and they think that means we'll always be bubbly, always be positive, always be talking about God and be the one who's, you know, interfacing to people. If you're the person to do that, then absolutely. If that's in your temperament, if it's in your, uh, your emotional state, then yes, be the person who's always positive, who's always strong, who's always speaking words of encouragement. But that's not all that it means. When Jesus says, let your light shine, it's be you ear. He's saying, when, when you are walking out your purpose, you will carry an inherent light that is visible. We all know what it's like to see somebody who's trapped in a life or a job or a situation that they hate versus the people who are doing what they feel they were called to do and meant to do. Those people carry a a vibrancy, they carry a, a presence with them that you can feel without them saying a word. And that, that's what Jesus is talking about. It's not the, the thing that's in your heart that you want to do, that you want to be, is something that you made up. I know there's a lot of people that will try and tell you that what you want is wrong, and it's just not. God put that in your heart. That's why when the Bible says that you can't know your own heart, but God can, he built it. He's the one that determined how you process information. Even if you don't believe that, even if that this whole Christianity thing is nonsense to you, it's God that put that want inside of you, that puts that desire of what you want to be, a singer, a dancer, a YouTuber, a writer, a whatever, right? It's God that puts that in your heart. And you, by following that, free yourself of so many of the bonds of this world. And so that's my exhortation for us today, is follow your purpose. I say it all the time, and I will say it in every video ever for the remainder of time. Walk in your purpose. Be you eater. Be walking in the light that God put ahead of you. With that, may God pour out the blessings of heaven and purpose and joy and lightness and freedom on us all. And I love you so much. Peace out.